Do you guys like when I take you inside and I show you what the coffee mugs cost? Coolio with the flow. Represent Boogie Bob. God we in Harlem. Don't get robbed. All right, Boogie Bob, one love. God bless you. What's poppin'? Welcome to the Boogie Bob Experience. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Oh, we gonna have some fun. Guys, I like to go in, I like to take you into the shop, and I like to show you what stuff costs. I like you to play at home. You guess before I name the price. Let's go do it. This is the Hard Rock Cafe. It used to be the WWE restaurant. And before that, of course, it was Paramount. But this is a Boogie Bob exclusive. No cameras have ever been led inside before, ever. I might get kicked out myself. Who knows? Ooh, one thing real nice is the air conditioner's going. Guys, I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm going to, as long as they don't kick me out. Yeah. No live stream. Well, no live stream, but I can tape. So I'll kick you guys off and I'll be back in a few minutes with the tape. Okay guys, I'm in the uh, Hard Rock, and you cannot live stream in here. I'm going to be showing you guys what shirts cost. This is a small shirt, $35. That's crazy. $30. Thanks again, man. This is a little rock and roll bear. Play me. He's rocking out. He's got a Les Paul guitar. This is a 500 piece puzzle, 22 bucks. Not crazy about the puzzle. The, uh, the mug is 30 bucks, bro, come on. At least you got the AC going, that feels good. This is the uh, distressed look of the uh, sweatshirt. Actually, very nice. I'm going to say 60 bucks. It's 50. It's extra small. Extra small. And then they've got the the bag. It's not embroidered. It's just a patch. And it's uh, 25. 25. Guys, it's a souvenir shop. When you have a souvenir shop, that's how they make their money. You're never going to see a place that has a souvenir shop where you don't walk through the shop on the way in or on your way out because they want to sell you stuff. $35 if you want to show everybody you've been to the New York City Hard Rock Cafe. You know someone who's a drummer? These are kind of cool. Not for $25, but if you're a drummer, these are kind of cool. $25. Everybody likes a shot glass. Shot glasses are about seven bucks. Any of these places, this one's ten, nine fifty. This I really like because I'm a Les Paul guy. This is a uh, New York City Hard Rock Cafe Les Paul. Uh, no price on that, but thirty-five dollars. If you're a collector of guitars and miniature guitars, that's really not outrageous. Guys, I'm gonna take you downstairs to the museum in a few minutes. Hats are always $25. That's right in the wheelhouse. 
Again, it's uh, very nice. It's not a, it's not embroidered. It's a patch, but it's uh, three dimensional, so it's pretty nice. You like drinking straws? Get yourself some metal drinking straws. They're ten dollars. They have a pretty large selection of different shirts. And by the way, everybody's been really friendly here. You cannot live stream in here. They have a note right on the on the wall unless you get permission from management. And I went on YouTube and I didn't see any that were of note. So I figured something was like that probably going on. Love all, serve all. This is a flask. Flask are always 18 bucks. This one is 20. Guys, the air conditioner in here feels amazing. It's 100 degrees out today. This is a bomber jacket at $90. It's actually quite nice. Quite nice. Uh, if you've got someone that collects shot glasses, always go for the four pack. Four pack's gonna be $25. That's a four pack, it's $25. That's a four pack. Uh, got your little backpacks. These are the cheapy backpacks. It's $14. $14. Uh, you like someone who plays guitar? You get the, the little guitar pick thing. I'm going to say 12 bucks. It is 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Guys, there's a museum downstairs and I'm going to take you to it in a few seconds. I'm going to take you to it in a few seconds. These bottles are always 25 bucks. I do a lot of souvenir shop videos. These are 20. Actually, very nice. I like it. I like the look. I like the matte black. Pretty cool. That's Messier. The biggest soccer guy in the world. He's got a Messier burger. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Messi. Sorry, Messi. Lionel Messi. He's got his own shirt. Now, since he's the biggest soccer guy in the world, I'm going to assume his shirts are $100. And they're probably limited. Actually, 40, 46 bucks. That's not bad, guys. Live greatness. Lionel Messi. Messi, not Messi yet. Sorry. Messi. Lionel Messi. The little booty socks are always five, six bucks. These are ten. Little, little rock and roll socks. Guys, there's a museum downstairs. We're going to go to that in a few minutes. I showed you the hats. Hats are 24 bucks. Any good souvenir shop, even the Empire State Building has hats. This caught my eye, and I really like it. Check this out, guys. It's a little guitar case. It's very well made. It's beautiful. This is probably going to be very expensive. It's a hundred dollars. That's absolutely not that bad. You know why? Because look inside. You ready? Ain't no guitar, bro. It's a party. Got poker chips. Dice. Is this popular? This looks really super cool. Very well made, too. Yeah, very well made. If you got a, you got a party at the crib, that's the way to go. Yes, yes, yes. I love it's it. It's a party on the go. That's a party on the go. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're I got the John Lennon. Let's pause. Look at this. If you're a John Lennon guy and a guitar guy, John Lennon did not play a Les Paul, but it certainly is cool. $35. You got the uh, John Lennon piano as well, and the piano is going to be $40. It's the John Lennon little piano. Kind of cool. There's Messi. They've got uh, gig bags. And believe it or not, they actually sell the, uh, uh, I think it's probably made in Mexico, but they sell the less, uh, the, they actually sell the Fender Stratocaster. When they have a big headstock like that, it means it's a 70s. It's obviously not a 70s, it's a remake of a 70s, but it's uh, very, very nice. And you got Snoop Dogg playing. What could you hate about that? Kick a little something for the G's and... 
because my mama ain't home. I got freaks in the living room getting it on and they ain't leaving till six in the morning. Lots of shirts. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with their variety of shirts. All kinds of shirts in here and they're all falling in the same wheelhouse. This is a hoodie. It's 60 bucks. A little steep for the hoodie. They've got the little man purses. It's all my money and my money on my mind. $15. That's probably the best deal I've seen in here. Nice little shoulder carry thing. Got your cell phone, your bag of weed, whatever it is you young kids do. I ain't telling nobody. That's your business. Because I got to get mine. These are really nice. They have these at the uh, Hard Rock Hotel. It's the old sequins joint. That's $150, folks. That's the most expensive thing in here, $150 so far. This is a little freaky. Ladies, you're independent, you want to have your boobs popping out, get yourself a little leather belt that goes around there and pop them up. That's what you're doing. Got your mind on my money and my money on my mind. All right, guys, I brought you through here. Now you're ready to go down and check out the museum because that's where the money's at. That's what it's all about. Again, more drumsticks. I like the other ones better. These are $25. Very cool. Got my mind on my money and my money on my... Oh, you want to wear a corset, ladies? A Hard Rock Cafe corset? Twenty-seven bucks. All right, guys. You said you wanted to go. I'm getting ready to take you. You ready? This is uh, a giant sun up there smoking a doobie, and this is a giant Les Paul. Look at this thing. Ooh, that's a burst. It's a sunburst with. With flame top. Rolling down the street, smoking in dough, sipping on gin and juice. One of my greatest guitar heroes of all time is Rudolf Schenker. His brother Michael Schenker, who is my favorite group, the MSG group, was also in the group for a while. But that's Rudolf. They both play flying V. They're from the group Scorpions. All right, guys. Get messy with it. You want to see what I was talking about? There's the messy burger. Experience the taste of victory. You want to be a winner? You want to be a winner in life? You're going to be a loser unless you eat the messy burger. And it's messy, folks. Get it right here. It's a Hard Rock Cafe in New York City. You ready now? Let's go down and check out some cool stuff. You guys know that music is my life, guitars is my life. Look at the symbols, the Zildjian symbols, the drum symbols for the light shades. How cool is that? Now I'm gonna try to show you some really cool stuff. Lots of memorabilia. Some stuff that's gonna blow your mind, some stuff you won't care about. This is Paul McCartney's bass. Now he, this is, he has several. But this is the uh, famous Honer. I think it's a Honer. I can't remember the name of the damn bass. Forgive me. Hoffner. I'm not a bass guy. But that's Paul McCartney from the Beatles. Maybe you heard of that group, the Beatles. That's Paul McCartney. Over here you got Keith Richards. Behind that, you've got Jimi Hendrix. That's a Jimi Hendrix SG Custom. Uh, probably worth a million dollars. Over here, George Harrison's. Sorry, excuse me. No problem, brother. George Harrison's six string acoustic. How cool is that? And here's a restaurant. I'm going to take you there in a minute. But I'm showing you what I wanted to show. These are guitars. You got the Toadies. I don't know who the hell that is. The Lemonheads. Everclear. And here's a door that looks like it's from CBGB's. 
I don't know, I don't see a sign, but I've been in the CBGB bathroom. There it is, CBGB. I've been in this bathroom, bro, and it was most disgusting, wretched, horrible, disgusting place in the whole world. CBGB stood for Country Bluegrass and Blues. It was where the places where the Ramones, the Blondies, Talking Heads all got their start. Way more than that, but that's, come on, just name them right there. All right, you ready? I'm gonna take you to something that literally almost made my heart stop. It made me wanna puke. And I'm not talking about the Velvet Elvis. That's a Velvet Elvis presser. I love it. I love it. This is what I was talking about, folks. Look at this. The Hard Rock Cafe guitar wall. A Hard Rock Cafe guitar wall. This wall was handmade. It contains over 300 guitars which were donated by Gibson. Guys, my favorite guitar in the whole world is a Gibson Les Paul. And that used to be one. What they did was they cut them right down the middle. And they did it to 300 guitars. This is a Zach Wilde. A guitarist for Ozzy and Black Market. I don't know what the hell is the name of this group. Anyways, wonderful guitars. This is a gold top. These were all Les Pauls. This is a Gibson SG. These were all from Gibson. So, uh, I'm getting ready to vomit because they destroyed. <laughs> These probably were things <coughs> that didn't do well at the factory for whatever reason. It makes a hell of a display. And this guy is from Lion King. Oh no! I don't know what the hell he's doing here, but that's a Lion King dude. This is a blue burst. Ugh. Would kill for this. Even the half of this. These are Les Paul guitars. Many of them still have the jack plates in them. No pickups. All the pickups were taken off. This still has part of the neck. You can see him there. This is a uh, very impressive that's an sg i don't see any 335s that's what bb king used to play but uh here's a flying v uh it's a flying it's no longer a v it's just a instead of a v it's just a uh, a one instead of a v it's a one there's a flying v guys today is a great day because it's john bonham's birthday and i come here and look it's john bonham john bonham was the drummer for Led Zeppelin, the greatest drummer of all time. He's been voted that year after year by Rolling Stone and Music Ma Musicians Magazine. That's the greatest drummer who ever lived. Uh, he died, unfortunately, I think it was 1980, 79 or 80, of uh, alcohol. He overdosed on alcohol. And that's him. Right here. Bonzo. John Bonham. Of course, there's Jimmy Page. That's Messi with this messy burger. Here are, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, first time in America, these are the Beatles. The Beatles. Get ready for a really big shoe. The Beatles. Back here is the bathrooms. I'm gonna take you in the ladies' room. I'm gonna film in the ladies' room. Now, this is usually where they put the scrubby people, where you don't know a lot, because it's still rock and roll memorabilia, but I don't know who the hell Matt Roberts from Three Doors Down is. Chris Henderson? Come on, bro. Really? If you're a Three Doors Down fan, you're in heaven right now. This right here is Gwen Stefani from No Doubt. Very cool. Again, ladies' room. I'm going to take you inside the ladies' room. Well, this is Lincoln Park. And their guitar is signed and smashed. Broken. Here is a... Uh, Adam Levine. People don't realize Adam's actually a gifted guitar player. Not just good looking and a good dancer and great singer, but he's actually a very gifted guitar player. And here he is with that guitar. All right, Henry Rollins, met him on 57th Street. Marilyn Manson, I don't, I don't promote him on my show. Not because he's like devil worshiper or whatever, but because he's a sexual predator. I don't get down with that. This is a uh, 
Billy Joel. You like Billy Joel, the piano man? This is the piano man's motorcycle. He has a very extensive motorcycle collection. And that is one of them. It's a 1940, 1974 Moto Guzzi. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now I'm going to take you into the, uh, this is a Boogie Bomb exclusive. I might get kicked out because I'm in here just walking around. Just walking around. So far, only one guy said I couldn't live stream, but so I'm just kind of walking around. And, uh, it's a museum, so you don't want to walk around and film people while they're eating. Jimi Hendrix. Lyrics to a song. Oh, wonderful. Midnight Light. Wow, how'd you like to have that? It's written at the Londonberry Hotel on Londonberry Hotel Station. Jimi Hendrix. There's the edge from YouTube. These are handwritten songs from Sting and Bono. Sting and Bono, very dear friends. Lots of really cool things. Jim Morrison's personal journal. And uh, one of his drawings. It's kind of hard to do this up here with all these people around. But I really ain't trying to film nobody. John Entwistle, the bass player for The Who. Uh, guys, this is a really large area, but so many people in here eating, and I don't want to, uh, I don't, there's Ace Freely's guitar from, I want to come down here where no one's eating, because I don't want to film somebody eating a chicken finger. They might not even want me down here. The guy told me I couldn't live stream, but I'm just walking around filming stuff. Janis Joplin's. Pants on stage. David Lee Roth, Diamond Dave, Van Halen, Alicia Keys, born and raised right down the street. Literally, we're on 43rd Street. She's born and raised on 43rd Street. I took you to 48th Street the other day where her dress is, but this is Alicia Keys. There she is playing on the piano. And uh, very, very cool. Absolutely some wonderful pieces in here. That's Ziggy Stardust. You may know him as David Bowie. James Brown. I had a drink with James Brown at B.B. King's on 42nd Street. It's the hardest working man in show business. Elton John. Elton John. Here's, here's Bay. Beyonce. Queen Bee. Queen Bee. Iggy Pop. You like Iggy Pop? Well, that's Iggy Pop and the Stooges. There's a guitar from I Iggy Pop. Mickey Jones' his drum set. On the Bob Dylan tour. I'm trying to be respectful of people eating, so I might not be able to film your favorite pieces. Here's Keith Moon. Keith Moon was the uh, amazing drummer for The Who. He died of a drug overdose very early on. Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's one of his skins for his drum kit. Pretty cool. They have some pretty cool stuff in there. Uh, Bob Dylan, when you talk about one of the greatest songwriters who ever lived, how much guitar wear got out of this old Gibson. Oh, I'd love to have that. I think it's probably priceless. It might be the most expensive guitar in here we've seen, except for that SG by Jimi Hendrix, which I think he probably played one time. There's Eric Clapton, old slow hand himself. That's a 12 string. Beautiful, beautiful. It's getting a little crowded in here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this thing moving. I've got a couple more cool things to show you. 
then we'll get up out of here. Here's Gene Simmons's face from Kiss. Leland Skyler. I don't know who that is. I should, but I don't. If you know who it is, get in the comments. This is crazy. This is John Entwistle's bass. It's a Thunderbolt bass. I forget what it was called. But uh, he was the silent man on stage. Oh, I'm standing here in the way of everybody. John Entwistle was the kick-ass bass player for the for the Who, but he, he wouldn't move. He just standing, doom, 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 wouldn't move. Duff McKagan, you know him from uh, Guns N' Roses. He actually went on to be a very, very rich money management person on Wall Street and other things. He's always been a money management guy. He was Bill Wyman. Bill Wyman was with the Rolling Stones. He left them many, many years ago. They actually got married to like a 14-year-old, if, if my memory serves me correctly. And it usually doesn't. It usually doesn't serve me correctly. That's one of the greatest front men who ever lived. Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. And now that it's getting really crowded in here, I'm going to start heading towards the door. Give me three steps, give me three steps, mister. Give me three steps towards the door. This is super cool. That's Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen was dope in anything he did. This is his TV guitar case, and I don't, I've seen all his guitars. I've never seen this one. It's a, uh, it's a PV. And if you look, it's a, got the Statue of Liberty on there, very cool. There's a drum kit from his brother Alex, a drum a skin from his brother Alex. I believe that's his son's amp, or amp head, Wolfgang's his son. And over here, I gotta show you this, because he's a friend of mine. You know I like to name drop. I name drop when I can. This is the greatest guitarist who ever lived. Many would say that, including Hendrix. This is uh, Les Paul. And you're like, Bob, Les Paul? Yes, Les Paul. And the guitar is actually called a Les Paul. It's a Les Paul guitar. All right, guys, I'm going to kind of walk through as quick as I can because people are eating. Uh, Dick Wagner from Alice Cooper. Joe Walsh. My Maserati does 185. I lost my license, now I can't drive. This is Joe Walsh. You know him from Joe Walsh. You also know him from the Eagles. This is a huge screen. Wow, can you imagine eating here and just watching the good? good? Uh, this used to be the WWE and there was a wrestling ring right there. Come here, eat a burger and watch Stone Cold Steve Austin. Beat somebody up. <laughs> Almost done. Almost done. Kerry King from Slayer. Ooh, that brother can play some guitar. He's a bit of a jerk. Don't tell him I said that because he probably would beat me up. So I take it back. I did not say that. I did not say that. Woodstock. That's Miss Janice Joplin right there. These are the light show instructions for Woodstock. You didn't need no light show when Jimi Hendrix came out because he came out in the morning and played the Star Spangled Banner to a million people sleeping. There's Johnny Cash giving the old middle finger. That's the man in black. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Bruce Springsteen's boots. That's a crazy ass looking boot, bruh. That's a crazy ass looking boot. Some more Janis Joplin. This is her famous red boa. She wore her hair during the 60s. Lots of gold record. Here's the straight cats. 
There is absolutely one of the true geniuses of rock and roll right there. My guitar gently weeps. Beautiful, beautiful. Iron Maiden. Uh, lots of gold records. I didn't even look at them because I don't think they translate very well. This is one of the biggest selling records of all time. It was on the uh, charts for like four or almost 500 weeks. It is Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Money! It's a gas. Money's a gas. Here's a bar. It's really beautiful in here. I recommend it to anybody. Hey, brother, how are you? Good. Recommend it to anybody coming to New York City. Guys, this is what I was talking about. We are absolutely inside the Paramount building. And right, right above us, if I go outside, that is the still there. Paramount. This is where Elvis Presley debuted Love Me Tender. This is the famous picture. I talk about it on my tour all the time. There's one of Elvis's suits. Wonder what that thing's worth. One of Elvis's guitars. An old Gibson. It's a 50 something. What the hell is that thing worth? Wow. There's Elvis with uh, old blue eyes. But when I go outside, I'm going to show you from across the street the Paramount building. I think I covered it all, folks. I hope you had a good time. This is uh, one of the worst days in the history of, a, of the world. John Lennon shot dead in New York, December 8, 1980. The death of a hero. I've taken him to his home many times. This is not a New York paper. This is a Daily Mirror. And there he is. A man of peace, love, kindness, compassion, empathy, and goodness. That's John Lennon, folks. Giving you the peace sign. There he is with his, the love of his life, Miss Yoko Ono. She did not break up the Beatles, that's not true. And believe it or not, she wrote much of the Imagine album. Those were her ideologies. All that love and peace and stuff was her. And uh, it's pretty damn cool in my opinion. It's bad that she got a bad rap for so many years. Courtney Love. Courtney Love, the wife of uh, Kurt Cobain but also the lead singer and guitarist for uh, Hole. The name of our group, Hole. There's Eddie Vedder. It's a little dark in here, I know, guys, but I ain't really trying to draw attention to myself. <laughs> We're going to get up out of here. I hope that you guys had a good time. Please remember, who do you love? Who do you love? I love you. That's who I love. I love you. We're just walking and talking. You get tired, you're waiting for your table, go sit down with these guys. Oh, I'd love to have that. Anybody got a crowbar or a hammer? How far could I get with that guitar? Ugh. All right. I gotta go thank this guy for allowing me to film. Hey, brother. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. No problem. Have a great night. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. All right. That's the guy that allowed me to film. He said they don't allow you to film or live stream. But the reason he was allowing me to film, not live stream, but film, was because I was kind and nice to him. Getting lots of groups of 50, 60 people at a time going into Hard Rock. There's the Paramount thing where we just showed you with Elvis. And here we are, guys, in Times Square. I hope you enjoyed my little trip into Hard Rock Cafe. Let's talk again real soon. 
please be kind and loving to each other and be good to yourself because you deserve it. And if ain't nobody told you today you're special, then they tripping. Because I'm gonna be the first to tell you, you're special. So very special. But I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. By the way, they've got DJs out here. She's going to be DJing today from 5.30 or 5 o'clock. Tomorrow, Caroline's Comedy Club is coming here. They're going to be doing comedy out here tomorrow at 5 o'clock. And uh, I'm going to follow this lady in the red dress right here until she gets a restraining order. Damn, girl, you're killing it. You killing it, girlfriend! Peace!